There's the power that needs the spotlight, but there's also the power behind the scenes. The guy's a rock in every way. Music executive Clarence Avant, the black godfather, has died. Remember the first time someone ever said, you're the godfather? Well, people call me that. People can call me anything. People have called me a son of a what? <laughs> Sometimes I say to myself, how in the f did I get involved with all this? As an exec in Hollywood, Avant helped create the first joint venture between a black-owned music company and a major record label. He branched out across industries, politics, civil rights, music, film, and sports. His goal? To uplift the black community. Clarence is the bridge from a time where there was no opportunity to a time where doors began to open. Avant advised presidents and mentored the artists and producers whose songs you love. Everyone from Michael to Janet to Whitney, Diddy, Queen Latifah, even Jamie Foxx. Avant was married to his wife Jacqueline for 54 years. In 2021, she was killed during an invasion at their Beverly Hills home. Clarence is survived by his son, Alex, a producer, daughter, Nicole, a former U.S. ambassador to the Bahamas, and son-in-law, Ted Sarandos, the CEO of Netflix. Clarence Avant was 92 years old.